How's it going? I'm Karen Hernandez, Community Manager at Mercury Steam, and today I'm with Darren. Hello, I'm a technical artist. Today we're going to tell you about one of our favorite characters, Hive. We're going to learn a bit more about her background, and we're going to offer you some advice about how to play with Hive and get the most out of her. Hive is a creature discovered by the Umbra War Dogs faction. General Marmalade decided to put her in chains and use her to his own benefit, that is, as a weapon. But one day, Hive decided to break her chains and escape General Marmalade. Later, the general realized that Hive's only intention during her time with them was to feed. That's true. He understood that she had let herself be captured to find nourishment. And shortly after, she was seen again joining Herx raiders. But her motivation to do so and her origins remain unknown. Hive has a peculiarity. She's the only character in Raiders of the Broken Planet whose weapons are related to her power. When Hive touches a weapon, she infects it with the insect colony within her, and she can shoot pheromones to infect her rivals. Afterwards, Hive can get close to the infected enemy, and the insects in her body suck the life out of them. Yes, and Hive's weapons are really interesting. The basic one, for example, the MM6C, it may not cause a lot of damage, but it complements what you have just said. It leeches away the enemy's health when she gets closer. One of my favorite weapons is the Racim, a really cool weapon that fires a cloud of spores that undermines the health of all those trapped in it. My favorite weapon is the Nevera S11, quite similar to the default weapon, but also including a gauge that keeps increasing as you keep infecting enemies. When the gauge is full, the gun changes its shooting mode, causing much more damage, but stops being infectious. Yes, but the coolest thing is that when Hive makes damage with her weapon or with her insect colony, she fills up her power bar. When it's full, the insects return the health they have leached to her body, regenerating her vitality in the process. Yeah, she's actually the only character who can have overhealth, going up from 100 to 300 health points. But bear in mind that when she's using her power, the insects return to her body and then she cannot infect anyone. So, what's the best way to play with Hive? As we have stated before, she's a lethal character at close range, so we recommend approaching the enemy to infect them and cause a lot of damage. Yeah, Hive needs to be in constant movement, as her stress level is always high, since she's part of the Umbra War Dogs faction, just like Alicia and Loth. And what cards and builds could we use? I really like Epimorphosis, because you can heal yourself while you're taking damage. Okay. I like Empathy, because this card heals Hive every time she infects an enemy, and it encourages you to go after one enemy, then another. I always say I love the troll-like role of the antagonist, and it's even more fun with Hive. She's very destructive, and I love infecting enemies. Well, I enjoy getting close to the rivals and attacking them right up close. It's more of a challenge. Yeah. yeah.